Modern Warfare has been banned before the game even launches. Drop a like if you are already digitally downloading Modern Warfare. We are just days away, guys. This is going to be a quick update video. I am working on Modern Warfare launch content. You let me know in the comment section what you would like to see specifically from the channel. But we're going to talk about how, well, Modern Warfare got banned by, well, I, I think it got banned by an extension of Call of Duty, which is really weird. We'll get into it, an extension of Activision. We'll get into it in just a second. A couple housekeeping things for you guys really, really quick. I am doing a giveaway with Clan Carnage and Prestigious Key. We're giving away 10 copies of Modern Warfare. Get in on that. Link is at the top of the description for that. And it's a new Call of Duty, which means we are going to try out a top five play series, at least for a little while. So there is a link right below the giveaway link where you can submit all your best Modern Warfare clips, whether that be funny clips, epic clips, whatever you get, make sure you submit. If we get enough, we will start a weekly uh, top 10 series, at least for maybe the rest of the year or the first month or two of launch. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's, uh, let's try to decipher this. So Activision Russia announced that Call of Duty Modern Warfare is not going to be released in the PlayStation Russia store digitally because Sony Interactive Russia is refusing to release it. So it's not Activision, it's Sony Russia that doesn't want to release it. And the first thing people say is, well, they are getting them back for the mission No Russian a long, long time ago. I don't think that's the case, but I could be wrong. It could have something to do with depictions of uh, terror or something like that in the Russian form in the campaign. The campaign is very, very polarizing. It's, it's going to get a lot of press good and bad, but here it is on the screen. You can see it. I can't read it because it's in Russian, but it is translated to this. At the heart of Modern Warfare is a fully fictional store, carefully crafted to please all players. SIE, Sony Interactive, I guess Russia, decided not to sell the game in the Russian PlayStation Store. We look forward to the release of the game in digital form for PC and Xbox on October 25th. So, I don't I don't get it. They're not going to sell it digitally. It's probably going to be on shelves, but they are going to sell it on PC and Xbox. So, this is kind of funny because it's ironic. All you Xbox and PC users that have been getting the shaft for years because PlayStation gets stuff early, all of you salty guys and girls that aren't getting survival mode for a full year, well, here is your retaliation. Here is your sweet, sweet revenge. So at this moment, Modern Warfare will not be available digitally on Sony, on the PlayStation 4 in Russia. We'll have to see if they'll do it at a later date. We didn't get specifics on why they haven't done it. We don't know exactly what's going on here, but I'm sure that it revolves somehow around the campaign, which, like I said, is polarizing in itself. So there you go, guys. The game is already getting banned before it even launches. You guys, let me know if you're going to be playing day one. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Make sure you're following the channel. I've got some good stuff cooking in the oven for you guys with Modern Warfare. I would love to start a top five play series or maybe a top 10 or best plays of the week type series if you guys are into that. It's been a long time, but it's definitely something we could do. So make sure you submit your clips and make sure you get in on that giveaway. There is a video up on the screen right now where we're talking about Black Ops 5. You heard me right. I know we're two days away from Modern Warfare and we're talking about Black Ops 5. Go check that one out and I'll see you guys soon.